HDSLR Shooter, sponsored by Akidio, Adamus, Band Pro, Black Magic Design, Carl Zeiss, and Xylite. Hi, Clint with HDSLR Shooter here at the ASC Clubhouse for the Fujinon uh, Lend event, and this is the 1855, and I happen to have the pleasure of speaking with uh, Nancy Schreiber, ASC. And Nancy, uh, you were invited today to, I, I guess, to get your first impressions of the lens, but let's talk a little bit about you for just a second now. I noticed that HD Video Pro had just done a nice like, article on you. Talk about your career as a cinematographer a little bit. Well, great. Um, I came up in the New York world, and uh, I came up as a gaffer, or electrician, and best boy up to gaffer. And then when I started shooting, um, all the work I'd been doing in commercials and features sort of went out the window and I had to teach myself how to make documentaries. So I started shooting handheld, 16 millimeter in those days. And uh, in fact, that handheld experience is very useful today because we use handheld in uh, you know movies and television. But um, so I've always gone back and forth uh, between dramatic and documentary and along the way owned 16 cameras, but also used, you know, beta, digi beta, and all those things coming up. So uh, today, I still like to shoot handheld and dramatic, or, and I still shoot documentaries, and I'm always looking for the right pairing of lenses with camera. You came up from the ranks uh, mm -hmm. doing grip work and electrical work at a time when women weren't, <laughs> had, well, probably seen as odd duck, you know, coming through there. I mean, th that's right. putting it mildly. What, what was that like for you? Oh boy, if I had paid attention to how strange it was being a woman in those days, I probably wouldn't be standing here today. And probably if I had been out here in Hollywood then, I don't know if I'd still be doing it. But in New York, it was just a different atmosphere and it was, I'd like to say it was the wild, wild east that uh, women were accepted in different kinds of professions, it was, you know, there had been the women's movement before, uh, and I think I got on the tail end of that, you know, where women were trying to break into other areas. Um, as a gaffer and electrician, I just never had a hard time getting hired by those cameramen who hired me, and I did my job, and I had a good reputation. It was when I started shooting that I had the issue of breaking into features. And uh, I made my own documentary, learned how to shoot handheld with my Aton, and uh, kept shooting whatever I could. But uh, it, wasn't, it was not an easy road, and it's still not for women. I mean, there's so few women shooting Hollywood movies. What things have you had to do to make sure that you were standing shoulder to shoulder with the men in, uh, in the union? I never had kids. Um, I really had to be available, like the guys, to travel anywhere to shoot anything. Um, I never did porn, but uh, actually, I did do real sex for HBO, and uh, I guess that's sort of soft, softish. Soft but we all owned 16 millimeter cameras, and the head of HBO documentaries, uh, Sheila Nevins thought that sex would look better in 16 than in digital. So they hired many of us with our cameras. So um, I guess I have done porn, um, <laughs> sort of. Um, so I took a lot of low budget movies and generally made sure that they were something I believed in, in terms you know, of not being offensive politically or toward women or minorities. Um, so I picked my subject matter and uh, did television. I still do television. There's a lot more work today. And um, so you just be grateful for the people that will hire you and see that it's not, it shouldn't be a gender-based profession. It shouldn't be based, uh, you know, what race you are or religion or how tall you are or what, you know. So. It's an art form as well as a you know, form of science and technology. And I love that it's always changing. Um, there's been a lot of emphasis on the technology. And I mean, here we are talking about lenses. 
Um, but it's what you do with the technology that really matters. HDSLR Shooter, sponsored by Akidio, Atomos, Band Pro, Blackmagic Design, Carl Zeiss, and Xylite.